What is up, everybody? Normally, we don't do stuff exactly like this, but the old lady got this for my birthday. As you can see, it's a Westinghouse 3200 PSI. This thing is sick. Way more power than my last guy. So, if you guys can see, there's a little soap dispenser here. And it's got a tube that runs up the side, the back, and then automatically integrates right into the pressure washer. They claim that when you use this one, which is just for soap, um, and that's when the soap dispenses. It won't dispense using any other attachment. I'm not sure if it's like a vacuum type thing, like when it sees, you know, lower than X amount of pressure, it sucks from the tank. I'm not exactly sure, but we're gonna find out today. So I have some atoms that I know, it says on the back here that it's compatible with foam cannons. So this thing said to make sure it's compatible with foam cannon type. I have some mothers here. Uh, this also works, so maybe I'll do a mix of both of these. I don't know, but we're gonna test this out today. I'm really excited. Oh, and I got some new, we can throw away this crusty thing. I got a new brush and wheel cleaner from this place called Jack's Wax. We went on this uh, this cruise the other week, this uh, poker run, and I bought this at a local spot. So I got the applicator and this. We'll be trying that stuff out today. But uh, yeah, let's get the car out back and uh, get to spraying. Well, they did kind of put this in an awkward spot, but plenty of room here to fill her up. All right, so the instructions say to make sure it's wet first. We'll get a little before, see how dirty my wheels are. They go like 20 shades brighter when they're actually clean. Pretty dirty on the car. We're gonna try out this soap function. We'll get the scrubbing then, but um, it's a little before and after, I suppose. Really excited to try this out. And a new wheel cleaner. She's looking good. Coming off the tripod here. The pressure washer alone cleaned up the car pretty good, except for like the real dark marks, you know, where the water's, dirty water sits and dries real good. But you can see my wheels are already <laughs> a bunch of shades lighter. I just sprayed that Jack's Wax wheel cleaner on there. Should be able to get off all the rest of the gunk. And my handy dandy wheel brush. Looking pretty good. I'm impressed so far. Now we're about to try the the actual foam option thing here. So it says it's like a 20 to 1 mix. And uh, yeah, I don't exactly know how it works. I'm assuming it's some type of vacuum or something, but let's just get to it, I guess. Sorry, you guys are seeing me with my shirt off and my shitty tattoos. But, uh... First shot with it. It's probably going to take a second. see it over there starting to fill up. See the blue? Nice. Oh, there we go. Starting to come out, I think. Maybe that's just the suds off the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's coming. Okay, it's not the craziest foam. I wouldn't say it's the craziest foam, but it's definitely convenient. You know, like I don't have a foam cannon attachment thing. Man, it doesn't really show up the greatest on camera. At least the sun bright in my eyes, but it's plenty. Like, I feel like that's, that's pretty freaking good. And we'll swap back attachments, get all the soap off, wash the wheels, and then get the hand washing. 
Not bad at all. Looking good. And I am so happy I got these things Cerakoted. And you got that Pro Boat, hold, hold Pro Boat hardware. Can't talk today. Looking good in here. Mm, mm -hmm. Looking good. Need a little bit of tire shine on there, but otherwise, hell yeah. I'm gonna give this, this guy a 10 out of 10. Put in some work today. The pressure is definitely up there. I'm only gonna use the 25 degree. I could go down to 15 and, and probably get a bit more pressure and whatnot. But actually, I should have did my engine bay. Tried it with the 40. I'm trying to get. I got a bunch of salt like stuck in here from my road trip back from uh, North Texas over the winter. Got caught in a snowstorm heading back. Here to Virginia, my whole engine bay was covered in salt. I got a lot of it as much as I could, but getting that's like really hard. I try to get it with like a pick and a brush. A brush isn't hard enough. Pick is too hard. It'll put scratches in it. So you know, what can you do? I still want to make a guide for this. Make it look real pretty and cover up the ugly under it eventually maybe when we do the intercooler which will be one of the first the first big thing when we get to texas is getting that dbv intercooler ordering all the rest of the clamps i need and the inner cooler bracket tree stuff and yeah It'll be one of the last videos you guys see here in virginia actually got my boy denny he's coming over soon we gotta move the m we're doing a 034 intercooler that just dropped, doing that on his GTI, and a trans service and a coolant flush on his car this afternoon. You guys want a cold start? 85 cold start? Sure. <laughs> video being here at the gas station look at that 85 is 349 it's like a dollar less in texas i cannot wait she cleaned up real nice got a wheel cleaner plus the pressure washer did wonders very good stuff there at jack's wax looking great oh yeah thanks for watching guys catch you on the flip flop